Hello students, welcome to Cash 25 Science Academy YouTube channel. We are continuing with our solving the chemistry series wherein we are, we are solving different different past year papers and we have considered organic chemistry chapter. So as in last video, we solved your ICSC class 10 chemistry 2020 paper. We solved each and every question which was asked from this chapter organic chemistry. Today, I'll be handling 2019 chemistry paper for class 10 ICSC students. And as you can see on your screen students 19 marks we are going to cover very quickly we are going to cover this chapter this paper and uh, also obviously the main intention behind making these videos is to uh, give you short short videos which you can go through just before your board's paper just for your revision purpose so that you can quickly quickly in a nutshell you can just conclude the chapter you can solve your doubts whichever you have regarding the past year paper questions so let us without wasting time proceed with the video and very quickly if you have not yet subscribed to our channel do subscribe to the channel like the video if you like the content and also share it with your school friends students so let us start the first question which was asked in this paper 2019 from the chapter organic chemistry was in question number one a question number five the weightage was one mark as you can see the question was hydrocarbon which is a greenhouse gas students now this is very typical question which is as in every board in fact cbsc icsc ssc her board may put out and as i've taken a screenshot from your textbook which says yes very clearly they've written methane is the component of greenhouse gas next question students 1b question number one and four were from this chapter weightage overall your this this question will hold two marks individual questions you have two different questions question number one and question number four overall weightage two marks and as you can see on your screen till now this this chapter has gained you three marks if you can solve these two questions so the first question is conversion of ethanol to ethene by the action of concentrated sulfuric acid is an example of which kind of reaction students is it dehydration is it dehydrogenation or is it dehydrohalogenation now to be very specific dehydration means removal of water dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen and dehydrohalogenation means removal of hcl or hbr or hi or hf but hf valor reaction is generally not considered now let us have a look at your textbook what does it say so in textbook you have very clear they very clearly mentioned this reaction which is preparation of alkene from alcohol and this is dehydration reaction i have encircled the water which is getting removed along with the main product which is ethene students so the answer is dehydration that is loss of water so alcohol gives you alkene by the loss of water in presence of dehydrating reagent which is concentrated sulfuric acid at high temperature students now in your 11th 12th standard you will come across the same reaction but over there you'll also be handling about uh, the nature of alcohol and accordingly the concentration and the temperature value for sulfuric acid and the overall reaction will keep on changing all right students so let us go on to the next question which is there on the screen the question is substitution reaction are characteristic reactions of now substitution reaction very typically is a reaction which is generally shown by alkanes students so i've encircled the two contents which you can go through reaction very very simple reaction halogenation reaction uh, this paper in fact has a question on the halogenation reaction also which we will be seeing in our further slides also let me tell you alkenes and alkynes will typically give you addition reaction because they are unsaturated so they are very much prone to addition reaction students alkanes because all the carbons in the alkanes are saturated therefore they are more prone to more likely to give you substitution reaction and never addition reaction because valences are all fulfilled all right students so answer is alkanes now you have gained three marks up till now let us go on to next question students so question one c question number five weightage is one mark if you successfully solve this question you will get overall four marks up till now from this chapter in paper 2019 icsc board so the question is chlorine gas is reacted with ethane you had to give balanced equation for this particular reaction now chlorine with ethane as i told you in the previous slide this is typical halogenation reaction of alkanes students wherein the alkane is ethane and when i halogenate ethane in presence of chlorine what do i get i get i get chloroethane also known as ethyl chloride now 
the byproduct is HCl. Very typically, you have to remove one H from alkane and you have to replace it with a single Cl group, Cl atom. All right, so the H which comes out of ethane goes and binds with the Cl which is remaining from Cl2, hence they form HCl as a byproduct. All right, students. Now, if they mention that chlorine gas is in excess, then you have to proceed with the reaction until and unless all the hydrogens from the ethane get removed. But that is again, you'll see this reaction in detail in your 11th standard students under the hydrocarbons chapter. All right, next. So this is the only reaction which you have to give students as an answer to this question. You'll get one mark in return. Now let us go on to the next question. Next question was from section 1F. Question number 1 to 4, overall weightage was 5 marks. If we solve this question successfully, we'll be overall gaining 9 marks up till now from this chapter in ICC board 2019 paper. We are solving organic chemistry students. Alright, so first question was give the IUPAC for this particular compound. As you can see, the structure number 1, they wanted IUPAC of this compound. Now very easily, we can identify as you see, or as you must be knowing students, IUPAC ke liye, you first have to identify the longest continuous carbon chain students. So longest continuous carbon chain, I'll be coming up with another video students very shortly on how to name carbon compounds by IUPAC naming system. So we will be covering alkane, alkene, alkyne, alcohols and acids typically for you people. Now alcohol and acids have been deleted from your syllabus also ICC board has deleted preparation part of alkane alkene alkyne and uses part also so you don't have to understand them so all right let us go on to the structure students now this structure is as you can see the longest continuous carbon chain is of three carbon students I can see a triple bond also for that triple bond you can see in red color I have mentioned Y N E which indicates the functional group it indicates that I have carbon carbon triple bond in this compound because I have three carbons therefore P R O P which is propyne so I will pack name of this this particular structure is propyne going on to next structure which has been deleted from your syllabus this year in year 2020 it will not be considered for the board exam coming in 2021 because of covid pandemic but obviously you can go through this section because it will be there in your 11th standard syllabus all right so two carbons overall therefore i'll have ethane but i'll remove e last e of ethane I'll, and i'll replace it with al which is indicating the aldehyde group ka presence therefore the name of the compound becomes ethanol. Ethane because I have overall two carbons and because the functional group is CH double bond O which is the functional group of aldehyde. So for aldehyde to indicate that it has an aldehydic group I have used AL at the end. So the name becomes ethanol. All right, students, let's go on to next question. Next question says what is the special feature of the structure of ethane? Now this question ka answer is very very simply they have explained in your textbook and this is the content which you can go through ethane as you know and another name for ethane is acetylene students now this molecule is linear molecule carbon carbon triple bond carbon is sp hybridized you have to just write this content carbon carbon they are sp hybridized linear molecular structure and yes that's it you have triple bond all the bonds are covalent bond they are not ionic bond they are covalent bond all right, next is the question is named the saturated hydrocarbon containing two carbon atoms. Saturated hydrocarbon, as soon as I see this word saturated, I'll go on to alkane, right? Saturated hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon means what? Entire element or a molecule would be formed up of just two elements, that is carbon and hydrogen. Now they have mentioned the saturated hydrocarbon should have only two carbons. So saturated means alkane, containing two carbons means ethane, so structure of ethane is CH3, CH3, that's it. Next question, give structural formula of acetic acid. So this question will not come obviously for year 2021 boards exam, for both ICC boards class 10, 2021 paper. They'll not be considering this section because they've already deleted. But for those who are going to attempt the next year, 2022, obviously you people are going to have this section also. So acetic acid means what students? It is vinegar. CH3, COOH. That's it. You give the structure and you get full marks. So nine marks gained up till now, students. Let us quickly move on to the next question. Ethane, methane, ethene, ethine. Now, you had to arrange 
these four hydrocarbons in increasing order of their molecular weight also they had mentioned in the question paper h has the value of 1 while c has 12 ka units let us see so accordingly if i know molecular formula students i can very easily calculate the approximate molecular weight so as you can see on your on your screen in the table the maximum molecular weight is for ethane obviously because it has two carbons and six hydrogens which is the maximum over here after the six hydrogens we have four which is with ethene also with methane but with ethene we have higher number of carbons again ethane has two carbons but hydrogen number is just two so if i calculate if i calculate students for ethane because ethane has two carbons so 2 into 12 the value which they have given becomes 24 and for h i have 6 h in ethane so value they have given is 1 for hydrogen so 6 h 6 into 1 gives you 6 therefore i'll repeat i'll repeat how did i calculate okay molecular weight i'm calculating for ethane students so how many carbon do i have in ethane i have two carbons in ethane they've given me in bracket just besides the question they've given me the value of carbon which is 12 so 2 into 12 will give me 24 6 into 1 which is the value of h will give me 6 overall so 24 plus 6 gives me molecular weight which is 30 all right students similarly i can calculate for the other hydrocarbons also and now if i arrange in ascending order this is the value which i'll get this is the order which i'll get students methane followed by ethane followed by ethene and the maximum molecular weight is for ethane quickly let's go on to the next question you have gained 10 marks up till now students jaldi this is the next question pay write balanced chemical equation for the preparation of ethene from bromoethane now preparation part is not there for you people for 2021 board examination but if you want to go through it you can go through this reaction from bromoethane that means ethyl bromide you have to take or bromoethane you have to prepare ethene surely you have to remove one h and one br so the reaction has to be because it is removal i will use the word d what am i removing i'm removing one hydrogen atom and one br so it is d hydro halogenation which happens in presence of alcoholic koh very strong base it removes h and br and gives us ethene next students next question was preparation of just a second yes ethyne using calcium carbide now this is synthesis of alkyne students where else where is sorry where calcium carbide we will be using calcium carbide and we'll be reacting it with water to get ethyne and calcium hydroxide let us see the reaction this is very simple reaction you get acetylene or ethyne gas which gets removed in presence of calcium carbide and water molecule next question methane from sodium acetate or this is soda lime method sodium acetate which is sodium salt of acetic acid as you can see on your screen cs3coona plus naoh and kcao which is soda lime at very high temperature around 300 degrees celsius gives you the main product which is methane is eliminated along with your byproduct na2co3 now i have picked up these screenshots from your concise chemistry textbook students so these reactions are there in your textbook i have not picked up these reactions from any other source these are from your textbooks all right so up till now you have gained as you can see on the top of your screen in the green box 13 marks overall in this 2019 icsc chemistry class 10 paper let's go on to next question quickly question 4c again this had a weightage of four marks for all our students the first question was compound with three carbon atoms whose functional group is carboxyl all right so for 2021 paper this part is not under evaluation but nevertheless we can solve it because it has three carbons plus it has carboxyl group which the carboxyl group now students is COOH so that COH ka ek se I can count again remaining we have two more carbons to accommodate so overall I have three carbons since this is the compound propanoic acid why propanoic acid because there are three carbons so propane agya last may because it is carboxylic acid so by going by the IUPAC naming system I'll add oic acid to the name propane which gives me propanoic acid overall next second question first homologue whose general formula is CNH2N now CNH2N under the hydrocarbon table CNH2N is nothing but general molecular formula of alkene so who is the first homologue alkene may at least you should have two carbons right so the first homologue is obviously ethene next third compound 
third question sorry the compound that reacts with acetic acid to form ethyl ethanoate acetic acid से आपको बनाना है इथाइल इथेनोइट नाउ इथाइल इथेनोइट स्टूडेंट्स इज एन ईस्टर एंड एसिडिक एसिड इज एन एसिड सो व्हाट डू वी हैव टू ऐड यू विल हैव टू ऐड ऑब्वियसली अल्कोहल एसिड प्लस अल्कोहल इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ कंसंट्रेटेड H2SO4 गिव्स यू ईस्टर दिस इज वेरी टिपिकल रिएक्शन व्हिच इज व्हिच इज नोन एज ईस्टरिफिकेशन एंड ईस्टरिफिकेशन यू यूज acid you use alcohol in presence of dehydrating reagent which is concentrated as 2so4 to get an ester now over here they have mentioned you two things that is one reactant they have given you they have asked you to identify the second reactant and they have given you product also now this question also is a solved question in your textbook and this is the content as you can go through it ch3coh is the acetic acid part then the product they have already mentioned you had to find out ethanol because as you can see in the name of the product students ethyl ethanoid so ethanoid part you are getting from acetic acid ethyl part you will have to derive from the alcohol so very easily you can identify ethyl alcohol has to be the second reactant now again this part is not there for you people for 2021 boards walon ke liye this part is not there so the people who are going to give 2021 board exams you will have to consider just question number 2 and yes question number 3 also you can consider which is compound formed by complete chlorination of ethane ethane ka chlorination if i do complete chlorination this is what i'll be getting again this question is straight away from your textbook concise chemistry what is the answer it is tetrachloroethane so the answer is tetrachloroethane the first step the addition of first cl2 students as you can see is an addition reaction again if i expose it to cl2 again addition reaction cl2 is getting added across carbon carbon triple bond in the first step and again carbon carbon double bond in the second step to ultimately give you 1,1 2,2 tetrachloro derivative of ethane all right so you have gained 17 marks up till now quickly let us move on to next question students now next question is identify the substance underlined question is the organic compound which when solidified forms an ice like mass straight forward question this is straight forward question from your textbook it is pure acetic acid students all right next question le jate hain now this will give you one more mark and overall it becomes 19 marks this is last question from this chapter which was asked in 2019 chemistry paper icc class 10 name the gas evolved in each of the following cases and you had to attempt the second question of this series of this sub question was from this chapter so i have just picked this second question directly now the question is ethene undergoes hydrogenation reaction so which gas will be evolved very simple ethene is an alkene students What do I mean by hydrogenation? Hydrogenation means adding of addition of hydrogen. So if I add hydrogen into alkene, it is going to give me an alkene. So ethene plus hydrogenation, that is hydrogen, gives me ethene gas. At the bottom you can see ethene plus H two gives you ethene. This is catalytic reduction. Catalytic reduction reaction. You can use either nickel or platinum or palladium. in presence of hydrogen accordingly you will have to provide heat if you are using nickel you have to provide heat if you are using platinum or palladium you can do it at room temperature only all right students so that's it from my side for 2019 paper this was solution of 2019 chemistry paper class 10 icsc with respect to just organic chemistry chapter students i hope you liked the video this was quick revision very quick revision of your 2019 paper similarly i'm going to handle other papers also i have already uploaded 2020 paper so you can go through both the videos get yourself revised with the content of organic chemistry i have made sure that i have commented on each and every question which is not there for you people all right not there for you people like this question also it is it comes under preparation of alkene also it comes under al reactions of alkene also so that is why uh, my advice is you should do this reaction all right thank you very much do subscribe to my channel which is catch 25 science academy and keep watching our videos bye bye